All right, Shalom, Rastafari, and uh, Ja Bless. Um, in this video right here, what's real important in this video is that um, the reason we was asking that question about uh, Marcus Garvey, and then not only that, but um, many of the brothers who de deny the divinity of his imperial majesty, Kedamawi Haile Selassie, the Father God, yes, the Father, God the Father. In the Trinity, there's the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit. Um, the Son, our black Lord and Savior, His Son, Jesus Christ, because obviously if, is if, if His Majesty is a black man, you know, Jesus Christ was a black man and Mary was a black woman. But then again, we know this because Amos 9 and 7 says, aren't you as the children of the Ethiopians? But now what we come in to find out is that many of the uh, the the brothers or so-called brothers and sisters out there who claim to be Rastafari don't even read, you know, from what we know, don't even read the Bible or don't even proclaim the Bible. They don't use the Bible in, in any way. And um, another thing is that we're wondering about the teachings. We're wondering about the teachings. Now, when that last vid that you seen, um, you know, I asked, is, was Marcus Garvey a sellout? And this right here is in the Royal Parchment Scrolls of Black Supremacy. This was said that, that you know, the ancestors, basically a poetry by the ancestors that they put together. And it also was a, um, it was like a prelude to the Promise Key by Leonard Percival Howe. But then there's brothers that were speaking down on Leonard Perceval well, how they were saying, oh, he was plagiarized, you know, saying these things. But the evidence that's lining up with the spiritual prophecies, is, it's like it's all starting to line together. It's all starting to tell us something really of uh, really what's going on. And the reason now I'm, I'm questioning, I'm really questioning um, certain Rastafari houses like what what exactly are they teachings and what is their trinity you know what i mean because uh in that video in that video that we made about marcus garvey there was a brother you know what i mean well i, I ain't gonna say he's a brother you know what i'm saying because we got two totally different um teachings that we believe in you know what i mean he basically said the bible you know basically was european and that um you know, the Europeans wrote the Bible, and it's a European concept. And we've been over all that. Then he said 20 years ago that he was doing, he was like me, until he woke up to the light of the ancestors, and that he's seen his imperial majesty, seen Empress Menon, stuff like that. But then they deny Jesus Christ, you know, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So just to put things into perspective, right? You know what I mean? Just to put things in a general perspective, because there was more that we wanted to go over and kind of reason about this issue. This was a very serious issue, man. We seen some stuff that, um, you know, elders that we looked up to, you know, that we kind of loved. And, um, I never really seen, and I'm going to be honest with you, I never really seen much of Muta Baruka's uh, vids or teachings and things like that. Now, there was, there was a... Uh, I think there was a vid where ones were saying like he was like a media puppet and stuff like that. Like that he was a media puppet. And, you know, these are these are one's opinions. You know, some brothers, or I don't even want to say brothers, man. Like the way y'all be, like the way some, sometimes I be hearing some of these brothers say Rastafari. And then, um, you know, turn around and I spoke with the brother about it. You know, I'm not blasting you or nothing like that. I spoke with the man about it. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, he, you know, the brother, he basically apologized. Like, yo, that ain't really how we supposed to be speaking to each other. You know, cussing at each other and calling each other cowards and stuff like that. You know, and I told the brother, you know, most of the time when I speak with elders, you know, because, you know, the brother claimed he's, a, he's an elder and stuff. Like, usually most of the time when I speak with elders, and you can look at, you can look at the com you should be able to look at the comments on the page. Say so we can go, and um, it's like 70 comments for that video, you know what I mean, so, you know, so they say a few views or whatever, I don't really care, but, um, the comments for that vid, you know what I mean, when we go, let's see if we can, some of the previously read comments up in here, 
You know what I mean? This was the one, this uh, one fire 987. This one, I would say, I would say brother, but then you, you know, you kind of, you spoke down on my LOJ family, and I, you know, I ain't appreciate that at all. I love my fam. I love my brotherhood, and we are real to the core. Soldiers and militant for His Imperial Majesty, Kelamawi Haile Selassie. Judah is the lawgiver. Give a damn, you know, what anybody got to say about that. You know what I'm saying? And um, the Rebbe is, is real and authentic. You know what I'm saying? You know, Wyndham Yadon is the real deal. You know what I mean? Either way, whatever you want to say, you you mimicking your master rabbi. Yeah, we, I'm mimicking my master rabbi, Yeshua, Gittach and the Yesus Christos, passed down to some noble um, and real, you know what I'm saying, humble elders and prophets such as Wyndham Yadon and, and many others. You know, Sizzler, even Sizzler, that's another brethren who be speaking the truth who goes through a lot of uh you know uh, they throw a lot of stones at sizzler too you know what i mean so when you out there and you you try the truth for his imperial majesty they're gonna throw these stones don't think that they're gonna like you they're gonna be your friend and all that because you're gonna hear comments such as this and i could probably go through the whole thing but it's about like 70 70 comments but now on it he was the brother was telling me check out uh you can check out the comments if you want i really don't care you know you go check them out you know what i mean um it'd be good for you to check them out so you can get a perspective view on the way um other ones out there who may be trying roster fetter and i'm gonna just say brother sister because you're on the cool really on the cool someday man we may come together and ones may repent you know what i mean we don't condemn i don't condemn uh, a, a brother a sister of christ you know one who says that they're in the in the in the walking in the name of rastafari walking the name of his imperial majesty but then again this brother right here um i don't think he is rastafari because i had to go re over look at some of the comments and uh i don't think he's rastafari at all matter of fact i think he even said to the degree brother you said he was an atheist or something like that you know in that sense in spirit we not brothers you know what i mean but but in the natural concept, you might be a child of Jacob. You know what I mean? You might be a child of Jacob. You from one of the nationalities of Jacob was Benjamin or something. You know, the Caribbean. I don't know what area you may be located in. You know, what tribe you fit. You in America. You might be a Judah. I. You might be a Lawawi. You know what I mean? You know, you may be a Donite, Ishkar. You know, whatever, whatever branch of the lost black and brown children of Israel who are now found. In his imperial majesty, I and I, Father, God, Father, get a mile, we holler, Selassie, God, the Father, Christ of the Trinity, the Son, Jesus Christos, our black Lord and Savior, and then his Father, get a mile, we holler, Selassie. Um, but something that, that was very important about this, the reason that we were saying what we were saying about Marcus Garvey, you know what I mean? And then we could go back to those comments that that brother had said. Now, when we were watching this, when we were watching this, we was kind of like, uh, we were kind of like, you know, again, remember, this This is this is in the Royal Parchment Scrolls of Black Supremacy, just to get the Garvey thing out the way. Now, we love Marcus Garvey. We come, matter of fact, Marcus Garvey is known as the John the Baptist of Rastafari. You know what I mean? He's like the... He's the John the Baptist, actually not of Rastafari, but of this generation because real Christianity is Rastafari in truth, in truth, without the, the Eurocentric white supremacist lies, Rastafari in spirit and truth when it's, when it's properly disseminated, you know, when it's properly evaluated, it's properly disseminated, the Son, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, the primary trinity. Like I told the brother, I say it wasn't the only trinity, but it's the primary trinity to life abundantly, which is the son, our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the black man, Jesus Christ, not the white Jesus. That's the Antichrist. The father, Gedamawi, Haile Selassie, whether they're just beginning to have this revelation or not. And what we're starting to find out is many are. Don't don't walk out there thinking that many know the truth about his imperial majesty, Kelamawi Haile Selassie. 
because on a large on a large scale many deny the truth about his imperial majesty Kelamawi Haile Selassie but we just kind of want to do a little glance over this and the royal parchment scrolls of black supremacy so let's kind of go over a little bit of what it's saying here all right so general marcus garvey and bishop rogers now remember this is like a this is like a a soulful poetry from the ancestors now if you're saying that they made a mistake in this um this is pretty interesting right here we find this this was very interesting because uh matter of fact let let me see if i can go and pull up i want to go pull up the article i can't pull it up so just get get an eye a moment i want to pull up this article about um you know marcus garvey real quick yeah you know, yeah let's go there real quick see if we okay was this it i don't think this was it let's see if we go to home page it might be it might be okay yeah this was okay this may be another page no this is the same page this is the same page now here is the um this would be like the modern day um you know one of the modern day um how can we say spirits you know what i mean the modern day spirit led by marcus garvey and we give thanks for awakening the the race, the Negro race. But what we what we are against, what we are against, and we don't like was the slanders of His Imperial Majesty Kelamawi Haile Selassie, calling His Majesty a coward. You know what I mean? Talking about he ran into exile, calling him a coward, and saying these things when that in Rastafari, he he's a part of some trinities even. You know what I mean? Um, he's held very in high regard by many houses. The Bengi hold Marcus Garvey in high esteem. Um, Bobo hold him in high esteem. Many of us also, we, we hold him in high esteem, but we also understand how he's the least in the kingdom of heaven because of these things that were said. It's kind of like the John the Baptist thing, the, the doubting, you know, sending ones that, is he the Christ? Like, he had to wonder. But remember, he was the... He was one of the biggest things in the in the in the so-called you know the Negro movement at the time, because that's what that's the term they were using Negro movement. When we got more education and we started to understand, we we say Ethiopian. But now, when we're speaking, a lot of these brothers out here who get this 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 reevaluation or this re like a like a regurgitation of Afrocentric or or um, you know so-called black supremacy. You know, you say it's black supremacy, but it's, 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 it's I want to say, I want to say the false black supremacy. You know what I mean? Because um, without his imperial majesty, without Haile Selassie, without the king of kings, you know, it would only hurt anything that the people was trying to do. So without God and Christ, without Jah Rastafari, the father, and his son, the Jesus Christos, we would only be hurt in trying to do anything. We, we would never get nothing done. But one of the main things I want to go down here and read is it says uh, the second annual Universal Marcus Garvey birthday celebration in tribute to being, um, let me see, is being planned at this event. Okay, here we go. So, um, the founder and first president, right, tribute to the founder and first president, the general of the Universal Negro Improvement Association. Now, you see that right there, right? Look at this. So I want you to pay attention to this to see if y'all can clear some of this up. Because this is what we was asking while we were saying, is he is he a sellout? And um, the the brother that was making the comments to me on the last video, right? He told me to go check out this video by Muda Baruka. When I checked that video out, I was almost, almost heartbroken at hearing what Muda said. You know what I mean? And I'll go into the details of that. Matter of fact, if you want to. You can go check it out. I think the video is called, uh, you can check it out before I even get back to doing the vid on it. It's called Fire Burning Stiff Necks, right? But basically, in this vid, what he does is basically he denounces the divinity of his majesty, right? And um, I, I still don't want to, I, I really don't want to, you know, say like the eye is trying to talk bad about Mood to Baruch or ones and ones and stuff like that. But now if ones and ones is talking bad about his majesty, fire burn. Fire burn. 
You know what I mean? You talk about fire burning stiff neck. But the stiff neck, stiff nakedness of the Israelites in, in the Bible was murmuring against the truth. You know, was was hurting the spirit of the truth so that when the Gentiles seen it, and Moses even said this. Moses is like, oh, Lord, please don't destroy these people because when the Gentiles see, they'll say, oh, he bought his people up just to destroy them. You know what I'm saying? But the people with their own murmuring, right, and their own putting forth their own type of false doctrine was actually, they were actually murdering themselves. So basically in this video, the way I heard it, Right, the way I and I heard it, I, I, it, 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 it didn't sound too good to me. It, it sounded very bad to hear that, you know, it sounded as though he was denying the divinity of his imperial majesty. Or he was saying that he never learned of the divinity of his imperial majesty, but many looked to Muta as an elder, though. You know, many looked to Muta Baruch as an elder. You know, if you find it, go ahead, check this video out. And, and you can tag it in there. There's a tag right there. You should be able to find it. You know what I mean? And, and if you're a real Rastafari, check this video out. For real, ch check this video out and, 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 and say what you think about it. You know what I mean? Because this is, um, and this is, uh, is this recent? Let me see, I think this might even be recent. I don't know if this brother just put it up recent on his page. or You know what I mean? Let's see. A yeah, this is a recent video. So this was, you know, yesterday. You know what I mean? This video was put out. You know what I mean? And, um... Look what it says down here. It's Rastafari liberty. So from their perspective of liberty, is, is his, his majesty is not divine. He ain't the only one with that concept. There's a brother out there named Omar Tabijah who wrote a book called The Supernatural is a False Concept. So now they're saying that now they basically from, from, from what I'm hearing, brothers, y'all shitting on the spiritual worship of Rastafari. So now you're saying his majesty... Get him out with Hala Selassie. From what I've seen, you said he ain't even divine. You know, Muta said that in his video, he said that that uh, that back in Egypt, that the people used to look at the emperors the same way Rastafari look at the King of King. Yeah, and let me comment on that real quick. Let me let me tell you. Let me let me say something to you that Baruku. You know what I mean? I and I, Baruku. Not, you know what I'm saying? I and I ain't you. I ain't even take your name. Baruku, though. No, I'm, I'm, let, me, let me say this. Let me say this. All right? Um, that there are, there are many lines of kings, right? From um, Menelik the first, uh, King, King Solomon, the Queen of Sheba. From Menelik, from the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon. The, the, all the lines of kings from there to his majesty bear the name King of Kings. Right? Now... Are you trying to say that they're the, the, all of them are the divine father God? See, see this, this is what we're talking about right here. So now you're trying to say that all of them have the same divinity as his imperial matter. We didn't say natural form. We are, all of us have the natural form of God, even the Gentiles. They're just the evolution of, you know, in the the evolution of the the evolution of the the black man, you have the 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 um the natural gentile, if you will, if you if you know what that means. I'm not even about to go into detail of that right now. You know what I mean? But the point that I'm trying to make is that are you saying that all of those who had the titles emperor or king of kings were looked at as the divine father God? They were all looked at just like him. The, but from the Rastafari perspective, you know what I mean, in, in spirit and truth, his majesty is the divine king of kings, the father God Christ. All of them from passed down from the line of Menelik um, all the way to his majesty bore the title king of kings. But none of them were the divine father God. You see what I'm saying? His majesty was the divine father of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos, Yeshua, which name means salvation. Now, in that video, he said, we don't deal with God, we don't deal with the devil. You know, when I watch this video, for real, Muta, you know, I don't know if you ever see this or not, or brothers and pastors, too, you know, you remind me, you, you sound like Jay-Z when they asked him if, um, 
he believed in God or the devil. And he said, I don't believe in no God. I don't believe in no devil. But, you know, everything is one. Right. But yet we know that I and our father. Right. We know that I and our father. Get him out. We holler. Where, where is it? Where's Jah? Where's Rastafari? Where's the father God? Right. We know he had the keys to death and hell. Because it says it in the Bible. But then. You know, also we have to we have to recommend because the, the Muta's an elder, man. You know what I mean? And there were elders that we seen that there was there was there was revelations that were revealed to certain elders at certain time periods. You know what I mean? Like um some of the older older elders, you know, we even used to hear and, and, and it depends on who you are, if you've done this research and stuff like that. If you you know what knowledge you have or what's what's been going on out there. But when we did the research Right. There are some elders who did not see his majesty as, as, as the divine father. They would just live in the mountains. They would chant, you know, songs over the fires and stuff like that. Um, and they had a natural ital diet and stuff like that. And, and many of them didn't even pray. Come to find out. There was a few who, who actually prayed. All right. And, and most of them, you know, many of them. Not even say most of them, but many of them didn't even read the Bible, and and you know so we, we we'll go over that when we go through this video because we want to go through this video right here. But if you have a chance, please check it out. You know what I mean? It's kind of, honestly spirituality. I bless and give thanks and praises to Almighty Jairus to find my faith sustain me. But it's heartbreaking. Honestly, this video is really heartbreaking to hear this shit. You know what I mean? Especially in this day, you know, in the last day when we were, um, you know, when ones should be focused on this so we can have liberation all over the world for our people you know our faithful people in in jah christ and the yesus Christo. man i'm in here a lot of ones talk about the name jah so we're gonna we're gonna get into the name jah because ones like to go back into the hebrew and they say that in the hebrew there's no j's in the in, in the hebrew alphabet but yet the ethiopian fidel is older then the Hebrew alphabet, and there's a j, a j sound in the Ethiopian Fidel. It's not a, it's not a, it's not necessarily the pronounce. Uh, some say the pronunciation, the j a h sound. Okay, it's not necessarily that, but we see the word ja in dejesmach, and then if you even if you know what the word dejesmach means, which is governor, you you should be able to um spiritually be able to put things together you know it says um uh conquering line of the tribe of judah Hala Selassie, the first elect of god do you know where this title come from this is revelation 5 5 this is in the bible and then y'all say y'all don't even read it you know and i'm not even trying to blast nobody you know but once talk about fire man fire burn you know let the fire burn you know it's jah the father god you know what I mean? Or, or is, it, is, it, is, it, is, it, is it things of your imagination of this world that you want to make up? Is it like one say, oh, I'm not hated by the world. You know, I don't believe I'm hated by the, you know, like you said in this video, I don't believe um, I'm hated by the world because I try Rastafari. So if the world love you, then, then you need to question, you, need to, you, got, you might as well question your spirituality. Because we already know, Father say, be in the world, not of the world. We already know the world is not about Christ. The world is following Satan, the devil, the, the white Jesus, the Pope, the blaspheme images. You know, and they blaspheme your name. You know what I mean? So, you know, basically in this, like I say, you're taking away from the divinity of Christ. You're taking away from the supernatural aspect of Christ, the spiritual, the spiritual aspect, the spiritual worship of Christ. Is that what I heard in this video? That's what I heard in this video. And I'll go back over it. I'll do a video because I got the heart. I'm brave and I love Jah. You know, and I and I father. I believe, I know he's the almighty God, the father. And, and black Jesus is his son. I don't have no, no thought about it. I don't think Jesus is white. I know Jesus is no fucking white, man. Excuse me for cursing, but it's a curse. You know what I mean? You talk about vain speech. A lot of people talk about, oh, you cussing. You cussing. A Nigga, look at you. Look what you worship. Look what you put up. You know, I mean, you talk about vain speech. You know, when Miriam um, cursed the Ethiopian woman and, and she turned white because they got mad at Moses. They didn't say she literally cussed. You know what I mean? But 
Her speech was vain because she spoke down on the spiritual divine things of the almighty God, of the almighty Jah, Rastafara. You know what I mean? But the revelation of the name Jah was said to be revealed from Rastafari. That that was a name that was, that was revealed from the ancient of days, the ancient of times. The ancestors revealed that name Jah. You know? That's where we got the name from. You know what I mean? It was like the, 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 it was the fulfillment of what the Hebrew was trying to bring forth. Because the Ethiopian Fidel was older than the Hebrew alphabet. Of course there are no J's in the Hebrew alphabet. But the ancient Ethiopic, the, the ancient Hebrew is, 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 is Ethiopic. You know, but if you've if you done studies that far.